Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, we're making some progress on the build today. Got my fuel system in from on three. Didn't record a uh, video on that, but I will show you and explain how I uh, did the fuel hat and all that. Uh, but today, I made the best decision I will ever make on this build, and I decided to uh, knock out the oil pump gear and crank sprocket. Before I finish up the uh, turbo manifold install, because the bolts are close, and everything I've seen in the Facebook group, the on 3 Turbo Coyote group, uh, said to do it before, or it will be a pain. So, currently I have the car completely almost torn down. Uh, working on it slow, taking my time. I didn't really record much. I want to uh, focus on getting this torn apart and uh, remember to take pictures and all that. But I want to get this torn apart and uh, remember it, have it fresh in my head, not worry about setting up a camera and all that. So that way I don't screw up the timing on my motor and need a new motor. So this is where we are. Uh, I'll show you right now. I'll give you a couple uh, tips and stuff that I found out, found while Googling and uh, searching on Facebook and all that. So. Let's take a look. As you can see, we uh, have the valve covers off. The uh, the valve covers were not actually that bad. Uh, the bolts, there are, there is one bolt that is a pain to get to. It's right by the brake booster. The other ones, all tens, all come out easy on this side. Uh, note where the uh, where the uh, RTV is. You'll have to RTV it, put a dab there when you go for back for uh, reassembly. It's on each side where the uh, where the timing cover meets the uh, the heads. Uh, I believe there are two more that you'll have to do. But as you can see, we got pretty much everything removed except for the uh, the the pulley, the crankshaft pulley, whatever you want to call it, harmonic balancer. Uh, you have to take off your. Uh, Tensioner, idler pulley, water pump, thermostat, and alternator to uh, get everything off. So we took all those off. There is a lot of coolant that will come out. I tried draining it. Uh, if we take a look on my workbench, aka my truck, you'll see that uh, I got it in there. I'm, I cleaned it out. I'm going to reuse that. I'll probably have to buy another bottle because, as you can see on the floor, uh, my harbor freight tent area, there is a lot of uh, coolant on the floor a lot comes out a lot more than I thought but anyway you got the same thing on these sides the RTV on both sides uh, all the bolts and then your battery tray to get to the back take your battery out take your battery tray out and you could take this little piece out right here you got two you got a bolt in here that you got to get it's right here and then you got one on the bottom uh, I use the wrench and then you loosen this there's a push pin right here and then you got another one right there and then I also loosen this up and uh, slid it on, or slid it up, so I could wiggle the thing out and I had to take my wires out. So I will probably redo that. And I'm probably going to leave that out because the AC line, as you can see, is right here and accessible now. Uh, so I'll probably leave this out actually until I do the AC line, which will probably be tomorrow. So that's what I got for you right now. I'm going to keep working on this. And uh, try to get it all done today so I could return the uh, the pulley, crank pulley puller -er that I rented from AutoZone. I'll uh, show that to you guys uh, here in a minute. Uh, it is a Chrysler puller from AutoZone. You rent it, return it, get your money back. You can also buy it on Amazon. They're like 30 bucks for the actual tool. But I'm going to get back to work and uh, I will update you guys once uh, I get the rest of the engine apart. So stay tuned.
Hi right, guys, we got the uh, the crank pulley off after some technical difficulties. The uh, tool from AutoZone kind of sucked. Uh, definitely garbage. Uh, but yeah, we got it off, as you can see. And uh, we are going to uh, remove this timing cover and get to work. Uh, I'm not really going to record much of it. I want to focus on not uh, not screwing anything up. So I'll. Uh, Catch you back when I get everything apart. I uh, got the timing cover off, 13s and 10s, and remember to take off the uh, four bolts on the bottom that hold the oil pan and the timing cover together. But that is what we got. So next we will uh, time the engine, or we'll get this to where it's at the 12 o'clock position, so we can take off the passenger side tensioners. Then we'll rotate it to the 5 o'clock position, take off the uh, driver's side, and then we will install our new oil pump, our billet oil pump, and our billet uh, sprocket, and we'll throw it all back together. So uh, I'm going to go change batteries real quick, and then uh, keep getting to work. So we got, uh, got it out. I will tell you that the pickup tube bolts are a big pain, but if you guys want to take a look, there's... Uh, two pickup tube bolts will be here they are not easy to get especially the back one then you got two eights that hold it in and then you have a nine right here and then a 13 and then once those come apart you just literally slide it right off so yeah we got our oil pump out uh, I believe it's a T30 to take it apart so we're going to go grab our T30 and we're going to take it apart and then we'll be throwing in our boundary crank sprocket and our, I don't know if it'll, oh, there we go, and our boundary oil pump gear. There they are. There you go. Kind of hard to do it with one hand. Oh, yeah, those will be our oil pump gears, crank sprocket, and then if I find it, we got Lucas assembly lube. Uh, we'll be putting it on there, the uh, oil pump gears. Put a little bit on crank sprocket, and we'll put some on the oil pump itself. So let's go grab our Torx bit and we'll get back to work.